Hi, my name is Raj, and today I'd like to show you how to generate your own NFT metadata using a script that I wrote. Um, let's get in. I'll share the um, repository in the description so you can grab this one. So here you start by npm install, just to install the, the uh, one dependency fs that I need for the script, and then we go into the metadata generator folder. So the couple of things to uh, to set up before we start, we go into JSON um, templates, and here you fill in all the information. Uh, so your address, uh, the NFT, uh, the NFT name, the symbol, uh, description, family, etc. And then you would add uh, attributes here. You would add the properties, the file, and the name as well uh, in image. Okay, um, then in uh, attributes, you have all the lists of attributes and the corresponding rarities. So you have um, the, the format is a JSON format. So you can, you can check that online. But basically, you have an object with keys. The keys is the trait type. And then it's, it's an array of possible values. So the name of the value, and then there's a rarity. So you can see I did various uh, various rarities. Um, and also have all the same rarities. Uh, and then yeah, various ones. Um, there's the background as well. And then there's a color. There it is. OK. Uh, that is to generate my, um, that what I use to generate my own NFT, uh, like this one. Uh, you see, they have uh, they have different arms, different legs, um, the body, the dog, different colors. Uh, so that's why I used to generate this type of NFTs. All right, since we have the template filled in, we have the attribute filled in. Uh, there's a couple of things here in the index. Uh, you need to enter the image format. For example, we can change that to PNG depending on how you want to render later, and then the number of NFTs. All right, let's stick to uh, to 100. I'll generate it now, and then I'll, I'll go through the steps with you, show you how it's done. But we should simply do node index.js. If you don't have node on your computer, you can install that if you can find it online, and then install. And what it does, um, we'll go through the this. So it's starting the process, uh, and then it generates all the metadata. And then there's a, a check to check if all the rarities are correct. And then there, there could be some error message, um, depending on the, the outcome. Um, here, let's see the code. So first, we generate the attributes in one big file. So we loop through the all the variations that are possible. And then we add them into a generated attribute uh, array. And every time we look in this array and we check if we've already created a trait type uh, and a, a value. So we we look for matches of this same uh, attribute. And then we compare that to the rarity. So the number of NFTs times the rarity. And if, if we reach the maximum rarity, it goes to the next one. So I loop through the attributes comparing to the rarity. And then every time I shuffle the generated attributes, so um, there's a good mix, a good mix of the variations in the NFT list. Uh, and then I create also this um, attribute list JSON in this folder. Uh, this is not needed for the NFT, but it's a list of all the attributes we've, uh, we've generated. And, and I use that to uh, to check through uh, for a certain type, um, to look for a certain value and see how it is um, spread in the in the collection. For example, we're going to get engine one to see how it spreads, just to see if if they all at the start or or at all at the end. But it looks like it's um, it's well spread throughout the collection. All right. Um, and then I return this generated list. And then in the following steps, 
Um, so I'll look through this list and generate the metadata with each um, array of attributes, and then I save the corresponding metadata. So you can look like this. You'll find the template that you've created with the address, and then uh, all the information, um, the attributes here. Image name at the end. And then there's the two checks. Uh, so there's one with the um, checking the rarity, see if, um, well, displaying all the rarities that we that he had found. And the second one is to check that in each metadata, you'll find all the trait types. So it gives you an error message if uh, if it doesn't. So let's go through the, uh, the the checks, the rarity checks. So we can see the rarity for each trait type. Kevin for the body, etc. Um, there it is. So with all this, um, this is part of a series on NFTs. So uh, we've completed the main um, the main loop. So uh, if you go through every step, you, you'll be able to create uh, the NFT and deploy it online, as well as hosting your own website to display it. Um, so this first step is the metadata generation. Then from there, we um, we can generate the images in Photoshop uh, with corresponding layers. And then using the Metaplex project, we can create the Kenny machine and upload these assets to the Solana blockchain. And from there, you can use the Kenny machine UI that Metaplex provides um, or the uh, fork that I did uh, called Simple Machine UI. Uh, to um, customize your website and then host it online. So you'll find all this process on my YouTube channel, so you can check that out if you like. Um, a quick word about my own collection called Titan Dogs. Here is the website. Uh, so there's a, there's a thousand Titan Dogs. There are characters for play-to-earn game that I'm developing in Godot. Uh, you'll have uh, all the information on the website, including utility and the roadmap. I'm also very active on the Discord server of Titan Dogs. If you have any questions concerning the process, um, the whole process of creating your own NFT, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, you can also reach me in the Discord server of Titan Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you on the other side. Bye.